Here are the highlights of Jeju Ole Trail Route 10. First, Spot 1, Hwasun Golden Sand Beach. Hwasun Golden Sand Beach is a spectacular place where you can see the wide ocean and a white sand beach. On a sunny day, you will probably see the soft sand shimmering with a golden color. It is a small but beautiful white sand beach, 250 meters in length and 80 meters in width, so you can capture the view of the beach at a glance. Hwasun Golden Sand Beach stretches out along the coastal road. At this place, you can see Kapado and Marado, the islands located in the southernmost parts of Korea. You can clearly see Hyeongjaesum, the Brothers Islands, known for fishing. Nearby, there are Sanbang Mountain with its unusual rocky features and the Yongmori Coastal Road. At some beaches in Jeju, you can find spring water coming from Hala Mountain, which flows through underground rivers and comes up to the surface. Hwasun Golden Sand Beach also has spring water as well as soft black sand, so you can enjoy a fresh water bath. Please remember, the waves can be strong because the beach stretches to the south. The beach is quite well equipped with facilities such as campgrounds, parking lots, and shower stalls. There are spots to visit nearby, such as Jeju Art Park, where you can take a walk, the Hamel Monument, and Andok Valley, designated as natural monuments which are packed with warm climate trees, such as Sibol's Chinkapin, the Seracious Nulitsi, the Isu Tree, the Silver Magnolia, and the Mersina Leaf Oak Tree. Next, Yongmori Coast and Songak Mountain. Yongmori Coast is full of bizarre rock cliffs, created by sandstone layers, which is rarely seen in Jeju. The sandstone bed, layered and cut by waves over tens of millions of years, create wondrous cliffs. It is named Yongmori because of its shape, which stretches from the foot of Sanbang Mountain to the coastal cliff. It looks just like the head of a dragon. You will reach Yongmori Coast if you walk down the stairs toward the ocean from the entrances of Dragonhead and Low Dragonhead. Struck by harsh waves over tens of thousands of years, the escarpment made of sandstone bed has various names like Dragon Ole, Kalsandori, Chamgomdok, and Sandor. Large splashing waves, the blue ocean, and magnificent coastal views stretching along the coastal cliff are not the views you can see often. That is why it feels so wondrous. Seeing caves cut by the waves and the marks of waves the cliff retains, you will feel in awe of nature. With the Yongmori Coast, Songak Mountain is one of the most famous places on Route 10 and has many large and small peaks, unlike other Orams. In terms of size, it is not as big or grand as Hala Mountain, but the surrounding scenery from the top of Songak Mountain is no less beautiful than that of Hala Mountain. That's why it's always crowded with tourists. While hiking through Songak Mountain, you will see a panoramic view of Marado Island, Kapado Island, and the Brothers Islands floating on the water, as well as the endless open sea. You will see Hala Mountain to the north in the distance, and Mosulpo to the opposite side at a glance. It's not until you get to the top of Songak Mountain that you can sense the fresh scent of a sea breeze reinvigorating you. That is its charm. Choruli is a popular nickname for Songak Mountain. It is a place where the winds and waves are strong. The roaring sound of waves when striking coastal cliffs, made of volcaniclastic sedimentary layers, and the lava stretching out to the southeast side of the Orum made the nickname Choruli. Chor means the wave in Jeju dialect. Jeju people may express Chor roars instead of wave strikes. In the coastal cliffs, the artificial caves made during the Japanese colonial era still remain as a place to remind us of the sorrowful history of Korea.